Hi, welcome back to OD YouTube channel. My name is Paul and we are here again for another Friday night pen thoughts video. There's been a long time I didn't make one of those and this is all out of focus and this is, I need to keep my hand here to keep it on focus, but this is already episode number 26 and today is Lisboa 14 de outubro de 2022. And so let's start this video. I need to keep something to give the, to provide the focus to the to the phone. Otherwise, it will be <sighs> bouncing back and forth with the focus. Sorry about that. So, what do I want to talk to you about in this video? Let's start as I usually do in these videos. So, the first thing is tell you which pens am I using today. And so, pens for today are this one. This is a big yellow pen. It has this logo on the cap. This was sent to me by a viewer. It is a cartridge converter pen with a number six nib with the same chess piece there engraved on the nib. And this is a pen from Vazir. And so this is a pen from India. It is Vazir Jaune as yellow in French and this nib is a fine nib, very smooth and ink it has inside is sorry about the focusing I don't know what I can do maybe to put, sorry, maybe I need to bring this into the center, the writing part and it says inside Sailor 437 ink, which is a brown ink, and I'm not sure if it looks like that there on video, but let me just do it like this so you can have a look. It is a reddish brown ink. The other pen that I am using today is this pen that I received. Actually, I received it sooner, but I only opened the package yesterday. Focus, please can't understand what's happening with this. Why? This is another cell phone and it doesn't um, focus the same way. So this is another pen. This is a pen that I was telling you I received it some time ago, but I only opened the box yesterday. And this is a pen from Great Fountain. So it is called Great Fountain. Let me put this one here so you may has a, may have a focus. Great Fountain, Great Fountain, Exa Deca Pen. This one has a medium steel nib. This is a Yovo nib with the logo of Great Fountain engraved on the nib, and the ink inside is Schaefer Scrip. Turquoise or turquoise, sorry. The and these are the two pens that I'm showing you today. You can see both are quite big. And I like big pens, so they are nice. They are like big pens, I like yellow pens. And let me just bring something else here to the desk that I forgot. Okay. I have it here. Sorry about the shaking of the tripod. 
I'm still getting used to these new setups, so sometimes stuff fails. Okay, so I want to talk to you now about uh, the next topic I usually address in these videos is... Oops, sorry, again the tripod. Is the... I need to keep this there. The, the, the new pens. So, these are the pens that I received since last video. I want to write them all, just you have here the, the topic and I will show them. So, one was the Exadeca pen from Great Fountain, the other one was Vazir Jaune. But since last Friday night pen thoughts video, I received some other pens. And let me go through them. One was the Majon A1, which is a, a very good reproduction of the Pilot uh, Couplers. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> or excuse me. The other one is this Jinhao X159, which is a very interesting pen. And it has a number 8 nib, which is really, really nice. So, very affordable pen with number 8 nib. The next one, they're not in a, any particular order, but I also received these. So, that, that is a long time since last Friday Night Pen Thought, so that's why this happens. This is a Jinhao 80, which is it looks like a Lamy 2000, but it isn't, you can see. And it is a very good pen also, quite inexpensive. So I think we've, we are having access to very nice and affordable pens. And because I showed you this one, I also need to show you a Lamy 2000. This is a real one that I, that I bought here from Portugal. I showed you before. I think it is from 19 it this is from the 1960s because it has some older features to it very nice pen it still has the logo the L <coughs> on the bottom of the piston knob and we have here also a Vingsung 629 with this nice steel nib and it is a piston filler pen it's not inked yet and I also received some Caveco pens and you know I'm crazy about Caveco when was this recent Caveco collection in the color mellow blue I have a review of this one and I will leave links below for the reviews and the stores where you can buy them if these pens are available, the pens I show in the video. This is the Caveco Collection Iguana Blue, which is an AL Sport. It is a very beautiful color, very hard to show on camera. And then I also received the two new pens from Caveco, the Caveco Original. This is the original black, the size let me put it this way. This is the size 060 because it has a 060 nib, which means it is a number 6 nib. But it is kind of a full size pen. It takes a full sized converter inside if you want. And this is the Caveco Original 250, which is a larger version, not longer, but wider and with a bigger number six nib. I really enjoy this nib. So these are the pens that I got for this month. Not for this month, these are the pens that I got since last Friday night pen thoughts video. So let me take all these away and let's go back to the next topic. I need to do something to fix the focusing problem with this with this phone okay 
So the next topic is why don't you focus the paper? I could keep the focus locked on the paper, but then when I needed to show the nib or something, it wouldn't focus back. So I'm not sure what I need to do. So the future videos. So for future videos, I have some ideas. There will be the pens for October, which means the pens that are in use during the month of October. You can see here two of them. Um, I also want to show you the my top pens of first half of 2022. I should have made them before. I didn't have the time so or the opportunity. So I'll do it later. And I also will do some unboxings of some packages that I already received, but I didn't open them on camera yet. So I will be showing you those. And this is all for this part. Now there is also, I think this Friday Night Pen Thoughts will be much shorter than usual, but I'm trying to get back to the channel, so I need to do some of this stuff a little slower. I also want to talk to you, the, I, it should have been first, about previous videos that I made. And the previous videos that I made, it, they were both this week, and it was the pens from August 2022, where I showed you the pens that I received. Some were there on that on that group. And I also uh, showed the unboxing of the package that I received from Great Fountain. And this is all for this part of the video. Now, I always, I usually talk about what is going on on the channel. And what is going on, it's a very, it's kind of a, a harder topic to talk about, let's say that way. Uh, what is going on is that there, will, there was a very big, I think it's not that big regarding the, the number of days, but it was quite big absence from me, from the channel, for what I'm used to do. And that happened mostly because of many personal reasons. And those reasons included moving from a very, from my old house to a very small apartment. And that involved also a, a divorce in the middle. So uh, there were some pers personal issues that came into the middle of all these and didn't allow me to have the mindset or even the setup or the ideal conditions to make more videos as I like to do. So sorry about that, but there wasn't that that was something that I could not control because sometimes or <laughs> always real life is more important than pens, but those issues are now solved and we I'm restarting, not from scratch obviously, but I'm restarting the channel, I'm res resuming the activity of the channel and I hope I will not have to stop uh, again soon unless someday it makes no sense for me to continue to, to do this and I think it will make sense. Uh, at least even yesterday I made an order of few new pens with some income from the channel so I'm really devoted to this channel I want to make this happen but sometimes personal life gets in the middle and these were the reasons that I that why that why I was away um, 
and that's it no major stuff and everything is okay i'm just still moving some of the or some of my stuff to the new home and i need to i need some time just to settle down but i can now start doing stuff that i like also something that is going on the, in the channel is that i finally got my not finally but it's, finally i have some products of my own channel which are these notebooks that i showed you on the video yesterday my the pocket notebook made by great fountain but branded ODE with a special quote and you can watch my yesterday's video to understand the quote and the idea behind this and it is deeply explained there uh, these notebooks the idea for them is to be available and to be sent with a pen whenever I do a giveaway on the channel there will be a notebook at least for these first 10 that I uh, ordered to have them to, to send and I think it it's a nice addition just and for me it's an interesting thing to me to see my logo in something more serious I kind of love it so but you can watch my yesterday's video and I talk about that very in a very detailed manner then what do I have more to tell you I usually do uh, a topic which is the uncommon pen of the day okay and I don't have any and why because I don't know I, 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 I would say that my collection doesn't have any other uncommon pen. Maybe I reached the end of that topic. I addressed that once here in the channel in one of these Friday Night Pen Thoughts video and I asked you for ideas and someone mentioned the idea of making some pen maintenance um, topics in the place of these uncommon pen of the day. Maybe I can try to do that, but I didn't have the time to prepare it. But I wanted to make these Friday Night Pen Thoughts anyway. I think it, I know it will not be the best Friday Night Pen Thoughts ever. It will not be the longest. But the idea is just to say I'm back and I'm committed to make the channel work again. So I will still need to think of more ideas for this. Maybe I will go with that idea of some pen maintenance. Maybe I can do some, also some ink uh, segment to put here. I'm not sure. If you have any more ideas for what used to be the common pen of the day, please tell me. And now I have topics where I usually discuss stuff in a more detailed way. I have two topics as usual. So topic number one, it will be one that will have more more ideas and I will show more pens and the other one is will be just very short but let's start with the long one and it is how much does a section matter? So, which one works for you? And about this, I, I think it's better to show. One of my ideas is the following that I've 
told you once in one of these Friday Night Pen Thoughts is that I usually adapt myself very well to very well to the pens. So I think not all the pens need to perfectly match our idea of a pen. My theory is that if every pen was made to our exact idea, maybe we would just need one single brand and one single model. Because then we just would need to have different nibs and different colors. Because it would be always the same. And I think that pens are like cars. I have a driving license, but I don't drive. But I think they are like cars. You may prefer one type of car, but actually each car has is its own character. And I think pens are like that. So it is the user that gets adapted to the pen and will use a specific pen for a specific use and not to have all the pens to be exactly as the user wants them to be. So let's try to show you without the focusing gets crazy. So about pen sections, there I think there is a lot to discuss. One section, which which one do you prefer? As I told you, I like lots of them. Do you prefer a very classic kind of section with this hourglass shape, which is comfortable to use, but a very... Again, the focusing... Let me put it this way. Do you prefer a large section? This is a very large pen with a very large section. This is... And I cannot have the focusing right. Sorry, I'm getting a little crazy about this. I don't understand why it doesn't stop this craziness. So let me put the pen on paper. I think it's the best. Do you prefer very large and girthy sections with this hourglass shape, which is quite traditional? Or would you prefer... This is William Shakur Titan. Or would you prefer a pen like this with a very short, and not short, not only short, but very uh, thin section, slightly hourglass shaped, but very, very thin? Would you prefer which one? It could be this short one and thin, or it could be a thin one but long, like this Graf von Faber-Castell classic, which is a beautiful pen with a beautiful nib. But it has these, but this is metal, it is short, it is uh, long, it is narrow, but it is very well polished. So is this slippery for you? Do you like this kind of section? Or would you prefer uh, also a long section, maybe made of metal, but without being shiny and polished, when with a texture like this Lamy 2000 in steel. I will leave links for pens and reviews below, as usual. So. Do you prefer these or because it's metal it's not good anyway for you and you prefer plastic and if you go for plastic you prefer these this is a Parker Centennial du Fold the big red do you prefer this kind of very classic section smooth but very classic or do you prefer this kind of section very nice with no step down from the pen like you have on this Tibaldi Bononia. Or do you prefer or it doesn't make any sense to you to have a section with a very big step from the barrel like it happens with this Pilot Bamboo. So I think this is not usually considered comfortable 
but the the step down is so high on the pen that I don't think it will be a problem. But I would like to have your opinion on that. Again, rega regarding sections and metal or something like that and their shapes, do you like that classic shape or a less classic shape like this? Leonardo Ficina Italiana. Momento zero grande pura. And this is the flaming orange color. And it has this very strange shape, the section, which is very well known in Leonardo pens, but they are comfortable. So, do you prefer this unusual shape? Or do you like sections with a specific shape? And that specific shape may be triangular shape almost and this is the Lamy LX in ruthenium color so it forces you for a specific creep with the triangular I'm not a very big fan of that or if it is a quadrangular or a square section this one has four faces this is the Waterman exception a very beautiful pen, but with a very strange section. I I still find it very hard to work with this pen because I don't know which is the right way to hold it. I still struggle with this. But this is a very interesting pen regarding its design. Or, are you okay with sections that are very unconventional? They are not really a proper section, but... If we call a section the place where you hold the pen, do you like a section that has a clip in between, like you have on the Pilot Capless? This is the blue carbonesque, beautiful color, in my opinion. But there are still a couple more that I wanted to show you. One is a pen like this, Graf Faber Castell Intuition, which has virtually no section so you would not need a section to hold a pen because hold the pen is the section the section would be just that part but it's not made to hold it so do you like this kind of design i do like or you may have a pen like this parker t1 that has no section at all. The nib is integral to the section and this is a beautiful, beautiful design all made of titanium. And finally, the last pen, not the last pen, I have another pen here that I didn't show before. It's like a metal pen but with a section with a texture as you may see. It has some, I'm not, may see but I'm not sure if you can see. There are some lines engraved on the section so it's easier to use or we even have these pilot silver with the koi fishes which is a very beautiful pen made of sterling silver with a long section but with an integral nib do you like this one or are you afraid of going with your fingers to further through the towards the tip of the nib and have ink on your fingers? So there are lots of ideas about this. Which section is the the one that you prefer? You can provide your comments below. Or does the section really matters and you just get adapted as you go because it hasn't it doesn't have to be in any specific way it is it just needs to be the way it makes sense for you so these are my question this is my these are my questions about this topic number one does the section and how much does a section matter and if it does which one is the right one for you and for the final topic is we have 
Ah, I wanted to use the Exadeca pen. So, topic number two is my famous burlap background. Should I keep it or discard it? So, about this. This is something that I want to talk about in my in the first videos that I made since I moved. I don't have I still don't have my burlap background here. And as I told you this house is much smaller and I have a very I have a beautiful, I would say, very beautiful desk, which is a vintage one, in my bedroom. And let me just take this away. It looks like this. It has lots of marks because it is an old desk, but I really, really like it. Um, and I thought maybe I could start, I could stop using the burlap background. Also, the burlap... Um, has lots of small fibers and I'm using these I'm making these videos in my bedroom and I don't really like to breathe to, to, to be in the same room where all those little fibers of the burlap get into the air so but it's just a matter of being careful enough in cleaning and uh, taking the background out whenever I stop making videos I, I thought I could do the videos here on the table, but the, back, the, the burlap background, I know it has some advantages. One is that it doesn't make these reflections, these hard reflections like you can see here, because uh, it absorbs light. So that's a good thing. Another good thing is that it doesn't make noise and it protects more the pens. If I do this it makes lots of noise on the burlap background it doesn't and also beneath the burlap i have a, a, a three millimeter layer of foam to protect pen so if a pen falls in that burlap background it will be safe for sure so what do you think do you think i should bring the burlap back i had some comments on my previous videos where people said background was your distinctive uh, mark on YouTube where is it bring it back so I just want to know what you think it is a it is an old coffee uh, sack made of burlap do you think it should be back for my videos so you could immediately identify them by the thumbnail or should I change for this wood desk? So this is really a question that really interests me because it may change something in the channel. Uh, if it is to be, to be brought back, I, will, I can't promise to bring it back very soon. So I guess some more videos will still be made without it before it comes back. So this is my topics. These are my ideas for today. These are my Friday night pen thoughts. So not a very long video. Not I, I know it's not the most interesting one, but I wanted to let you know what happened, what is happening, and what I will be doing next. So I have to thank you all for watching and I hope to have you back watching my videos. So, see you next time. Bye.